Hello again. So, here we are. Digging into this Amiga 500. The power is off. Um, I have no idea what is wrong with the other one. The donor machine. If you were just watching, you'll see that I swapped out the um, the Gary chip. And you know what? I should remember what the Gary chip does. But I don't. So there, they successfully removed 68,000 chips. It would have been better oh, if I had not dropped the screwdriver. Now here, this is a 68,000. I've already, I took it out once earlier and kind of bent the chips at the far end. I think remember this is the Amiga that would do nothing. There are not that many chips to try. But I always figure if it does nothing, maybe it's a processing problem. But do I know? No. So I'm going to, with great care, line this up and gently push it in. And it is in. And now I'm going to apply power. And if the 68,000 chip is in fact the issue, then one would think that it would not come up and request having such a hard time getting this disc. There we go. I'm thinking if it was the 68,000 chip, then it would not fire up. So, and it certainly wouldn't ask for workbench. So, we'll just see. Okay, battery bad, or clock, not found. Good, fine, dandy. So it's funny, you know, the Amiga, in terms of big chips, there aren't that many. There are not. So, now that the processor seems to be processing, I'm thinking maybe I'll go for the kickstart. So, chug, 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 chug. this. I have no idea what version this is. Oh, of course I do. It's 1.3. So once again, firmly but gently. And it's funny, this chip says sharp on it. I have no color about sharp. But who knows, maybe they just I mean, they like to own everything that they did, so they couldn't get burned by people. Alright. So, we have a donor. Oh, one leg. Slightly bent. Slightly. It's okay. So, we will with great care. Line up the chip. Great care. Line it up, push it in, turn it on. Things seem to be doing their thing. And it does for workbench. Which we will give it. So, another good chip up on the pet. So, the more and more I think of it now, after doing the processor and the ROM, is maybe 
even though they were difficult to get out, maybe it's time for a CIA chip. So while that's doing that, I'll see. You know what? Maybe it's the fact that this screwdriver is just a little bit too long to get in there nicely. What I typically try and do is, of course, get between the socket and the chip and just get kind of like a salesman with a foot in the door. Okay, that fired up okay. But boy, this is not cooperating. Shocking, I thought it might be. I did help this chip out. I swapped them. Alright. Let me just set this up. So maybe. Part of it is there's really nowhere. We have done some bending. Okay. Okay, some bending has happened. So, we're going to turn this off. And then, with great care, just make sure that these pins are all happy. It's usually the ones at the very far end or something that's going to get bent. As long as you can just not upset them too much. But if you go and jam a chip in and the pins don't work and they don't line up, you can snap them off in no time. Uh, now this chip I have not had out of here. So it's once again just trying to get that first little Probably just fluffy stuff. Okay. That was handy to pick that up for no reason. Oh, I do not know why. These chips are so resistant. See, another thing, of course, is if I slip, okay, we're making a little progress. If I slip, I could really screw things up. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Now, the other thing is, is I like to get the screwdriver well down the chip as I pry a little at a time, and then go back. It just prevents exactly what I just talked about with the pins getting bent. This is the donor. And I will get that lined up ever so carefully. And I will push it in. And the disc is out. And the witness mark is correct. I'll turn it on. And that's for the disc. Okay. So, is it going to read the disc? It does seem so. 
All right, so we have changed Gary. No, oh, what are we? we ch no, yes, yes. We have stolen Gary. We've replaced the sixty-eight thousand. We replaced the kickstart, and we've swept one the odd CIA. Yes. So um, we're going to keep at this. Right now, I just have to go and. Ponder, but mostly I have to get Andrew some pizza. So we're gonna let this fire up, let it kind of do its thing, and I'll be back. I'm really hoping I find a bad chip. Not that I really want to, but when something doesn't work, something must be wrong. You can take that to the bank. Bye.